This is what he says in verse 25. See that you do not refuse him who speaks. For if they did not escape, who refused him who spoke on earth? The one who spoke on earth was Moses. Much more shall we not escape if we turn away from him who speaks from heaven, which is Christ. Listen to verse 26. Whose voice then shook the earth. You hear Psalm 29 saying, the voice of the Lord is powerful. It says, the voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. Let me tell you today, listen to me. When the Lord wants to shake the world now, one of the voices is going to use is your voice. You have to be a mover and a shaker. You have to be like the church of the book of Acts. But Zalone, the time must come where the world complains about us. You are not hearing me. The time must come where the world complains about us. You know why? Because we are shaking the things they love. Somebody say, I'm listening to you. Because we are shaking the things they appreciate. Because we are saying things that make them uncomfortable. Because we are causing their comfort zone to be shaken. Because we speak from heaven. Because God wants to shake the earth. Young people, shake the youth. Mm, amen. Young people, shake your university. Young people, shake your school. Young people, shake your college. But be a mover and a shaker. Be a mover and a shaker. Don't shake uh, 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 at night with them. Can it do 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 Shake your areas. Shake your malls. Shake every place where there is a human being. Mazalone. Make it difficult for witches to witch. Make it hard for witches to be witch. Let them... Do you know there is a scripture where God says there is coming a day where the things that you used to hear from the heavens where your gods will not be able to talk anymore because I am going to shut them up. I am going to shut the heaven over you. Those who worship the moon and the powers they draw from the moon when you are a mover and a shaker wherever you are 
the heavens will be closed. They will not be able to divine. Because of you, because you know you are Zion, you are the city of the living God, you are the place of the living God. Wherever you are, yes, it is impossible. It is impossible. Mm. Wherever you are, these things are shut. Mm. Wherever you are, they can't do it. They can't work because the church has become the church. Because the church speaks from the mind of God. Because the church fruit speaks from the heart of God. Because the church has thus connected with the heaven. Somebody shout the Lord arise. Oh, I come on. Somebody shout, let God arise. <laughs> when God wants to speak, <laughs> He must speak through your mouth. <laughs> what do I mean? <laughs> that people must complain about you. <laughs> Already there are some of you they have started complaining oh, about because you are using the boardroom for prayer and now they are saying why should they use the boardroom and they go to top management and they say to them Please remove those people from there. That is not a church. That is a boardroom. Let me tell you something. They can remove you from the boardroom. The boardroom is not the church. You are the church. Wherever you are, the church is there. Wherever you are, the church is there. When you enter the office of the CEO, Guess what? The church has entered because you are the church. They can try and say, Stop them from prayer. The prayer meeting they are stopping. They are inviting more fire. There is a DJ who will like me for saying what I said. Because he sells that drink. I'm not talking about his fire. I'm talking about the fire of the Holy Ghost. I, I, I kept a Zalwane. Let the church get on fire. Let the church catch fire. I know I teach Maragajan. I give a true teacher. Today I give a true teacher. Give a true teacher. Talk to you. The time has come to change the world. The time has come to change the world. We have been comfortable, Bazalwa. You know something? In the book of, uh, I think it's Deuteronomy 5, God speaks to the church and uh, uh, through the mouth of Moses. He says to them, You have been around this mountain for long enough. You have been where you are for long enough. Now the time has has come for you to move to the promised land where I have sent you. Bazalwane, I am sensing in my heart the time is coming for a major spiritual uh, 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 what is this? Where powers are going to collide? Confrontation. Confrontation. Mm. Yes. It's going to be a confrontation. God said to them, you have been around this mountain for too long. It was two years before they went to the promised land. And God said, move. 
Tell your neighbor, move. You've been comfortable for too long. Move. You will never know the power of your God until you give a chance for the power of your God to manifest. You will never know how much God can do with your life until you move. You will never know the greatness of your anointing until you use it. Until you use it. Until you shake. Now when I say complain, what I mean is this. You get so deep in God. You serve God so much that they start complaining about the way you are behaving. And yet you are not doing anything wrong. You are doing nothing against what the company requires. You are a good worker. You are doing your, your, your work. You deliver on time. But there is something about you. Because every time you meet somebody, they see you praying for that person. And they start complaining. Why can't he leave people alone? Let people alone, man. Stop praying for people. You have to say, what must I do if they need my prayer? It's them. They want my prayers. I'm not asking them to pray for them. They are asking me to pray for them. You know why? Because when Zion becomes Zion, the Bible says, the Gentiles will say, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. So if you are Zion, you are part of that mountain, your light will shine and they will come to you they will drag you to a corner and say you know what I've got an issue man can you pray for me and then when they get you praying for somebody you are not enforcing your religion on people somebody shout let the confrontation begin come on let the confrontation begin Satan is Satan must not not be comfortable around you. Mm. He must not be comfortable around you. 